my name is Abby Bechtel and welcome to Music Royale's Music Garden. On today's episode, we are going to learn how to read music, but first we need to sing our hello song. So here we go. And just like any language you've never spoken before, it can take some time and practice to get used to. But today, I'm going to teach you the basics, so let's get started! Alright, first things first, I want to show you what a treble clef and what a bass clef is. So I went ahead and drew a treble clef right here. Um, I'll draw another one just so you can see it. So, draw a line like this going up and around circle around like that. I think my first one was better. But um, it's also called a G clef, and we'll talk about why in just a second. So then for the bass clef, let's take a look here. So for bass clef, you're going to draw a dot, then circle around like this, and then two little dots like this. Looks kind of like a frowny face sideways, if you want to think about it that way. Uh, the bass clef is also called the F clef. Alright, so I went ahead and drew a grand staff. So there's five lines here, and then five lines here. And you can actually draw one of these yourself. In fact, you might do better than me. This is why I majored in music and not in visual art, as you can see. Alright, so here we have our treble clef, and then we have our bass clef. So the way I like to think about it, is the treble clef is the right hand and the piano and then the bass clef is the left hand or the lower part of the piano and remember when i said the treble clef is also called the g clef it's because this little curly q here wraps around g and then i mentioned the bass clef is actually the f clef and that's because these two dots here this line is f so they're on either side of that line. So that's where we get those names from. So in our last episode, we talked about the musical alphabet, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then you stop. It doesn't go any further than that. So just focus on those seven notes. So we're going to use those notes here, actually. So the bottom space here in the bass clef is A, then if you just count up, so the space is A, this line is B, the space is C, this line is D, the space is E, this line is F, then the space is G. So you'll notice every single, every single step, it goes from line to space, line to space, line to space, and so forth. If we skip, it will go from line to line to line, or space to space to space, like that. All right, so you might be thinking, this is a lot to remember all these notes, but the nice thing is we have some little sayings that can help us along the way. All right, so let's start with bass clef to learn our little sayings. And just remember, each word is going to um, represent one of the letters from our musical alphabet. So let's start with these spaces here. And remember when I say spaces, I just mean the space between each line. So this bottom space right here is A. So we're going to go all cows eat grass in each space. I'll say that one more time. All cows eat grass. All right, and now for the lines. So we have five of them. So it's starting on G down here at the bottom. We have good burritos don't fall apart, which is a very true statement, by the way. So we have good burritos don't fall apart. 
All right, so then we have treble clef up here and it's a whole new system. So we still have our lines and spaces, but the letters are going to be just a little bit different. So let's start with our spaces. So the saying I like to use for treble clef is if it's in a space, it spells face. What I mean by that, we're gonna start with this bottom space here and we're going to go F, A, C, E. And that spells face. So F, A, C, E. All right, so let's move on to the lines for our treble clef. All right, if it's on a line, it's every good boy does fine. So every good boy does fine. I'll repeat that one more time for you so you can follow along. So starting on this bottom line here, we have every good boy does fine. That covers all five lines in the treble clef. So just to kind of recap what we just did, I'm going to go through with some markers and um, draw the notes we were just talking about. So we will start with our bass clef spaces. So let's do this. I'll draw a circle here and then that is A and just so you can see it I'll write an A there like that all right then we're going to go next space which is C so this is our all cows like that then our next one eat, which is G. Wait, why did I say G? Eat, which is E. <laughs> and then now we have G, which is grass. So all cows eat grass. All right, so I will choose a different color. Um, blue sounds pretty good to me. So we'll go through on our lines. So this is the good burritos don't fall apart saying. So I'll go ahead and do it over here. We have our first line. So G, good burritos don't. So we have G, B, D so far. Then we have F for fall, then A. So we have good burritos don't fall apart. So that's our bass clef. Let's go ahead and do treble clef. Here we go. Um, let's do pink. So we're going to do our spaces. And remember if it's in a space, it spells face. So here we go. Here's the first one, which is F. Here is the second one, which is A. Then we have C. And then we have E at the very top. All right, and then let's do our lines. Let's do kind of this teal color. So we have every good boy does fine, like that. All right. So remember, we have these sayings here, but you can also go by step. So just starting from the bottom line, if you start on E and just sing the alphabet, we have E, F, G. Remember, we reset to A, and then B, C, D, E, F to the top. All right, so let's just kind of test out our note reading ability while we still have our little markers here. So you have a reference at least, just getting started out. So let's see here. Let's find a treble clef E. I'll give you a second to find it on your own. 
So we have two of them right here and right here at the top. So E is the bottom line or the top space. Let's try another treble clef one. Let's find treble clef A. All right, did you find it? It's right here. Yep, so we have our treble clef A. All right, let's do one more treble clef and then we'll move the bass clef. So let's see, let's do treble clef F. And remember, there's two of them. All right, so treble clef F, here we go. Right here and right here at the top. So bottom space or top line like this. All right, we're on a roll. So let's go ahead and do bass clef. Remember we have all cows eat grass for our spaces and we have good burritos don't fall apart for our lines. So let's see, let's find bass clef A. Did you find it? So we have an A here, this bottom space. Then we have an A here, the top line. All right, so let's do, let's do G. All right, so we have a G here, bottom line. We have a G here top space. So here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to use my magical powers and we are going to wipe away all the markers. So we're working with a blank slate. Here we go. All right, all the note names have vanished. We are now working with a blank slate. So let's start with this bottom line here. So remember lines, we have good burritos don't fall apart. In spaces, we have all cows eat grass. All right, so let's give this a try. Remember, we're working with base clef. So we're starting with G. What's this space here? Yeah, we have an A. Next line. It's a B. And we have a space. If you're not sure, all cows for that space. So we have a C, next line. So good burritos don't. We have a D, then a space here. All cows eat. We have an E, another line. Good burritos don't fall. So we have an F. Let's do this top space now. All cows eat grass. So we have a G. And you might have noticed a pattern. I'm just going in alphabetical order. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's where we left off. So remember after G in the musical alphabet, we don't go on to H or anything like that. We restart at A, so now going from G, we have A as the top line. Or if you're using your saying, you can go, good burritos don't fall apart. And A is your top line. Now we're going to do the same exact thing with treble clef. So these top five lines here. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the bottom line. Remember, for lines in treble clef, we have every good boy does fine. So that means our first line here is E. So let's start with E. And then do you remember you're saying for spaces? What's this bottom space here? So remember we have, if it's in a space, it spells face. So we have F. So, so far we have bottom line E, then F. What's this line? So remember we have every good. So that means this line is G, that second line there. So now let's move on to the next space. Just remember we're going line, space, line, space. 
fits in a space, it spells face. So we have F A is our next one. All right, so let's keep going here. So we have a line, it's right in the middle. What note is that? So every good boy, we have a B. All right, and then our next space, so right after B, so remember, if it's in a space, it spells face. So F, A, C is next. And then you might have noticed the pattern again. We are going alphabetically. So starting from the bottom line, if you go E, F, G, remember after G, we always restart to A, B, C. We left off on the space here. So then this next line, what is that? So we have every good boy does. So we have a D. All right, then we're gonna do space, this top space next. So F, A, C, E, if you're going that way, and that is our space. Or if you're going in order, you can go E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. And now, we just have the top line. What letter's next? So every good boy does fine. That's the last one. Or since that space was E, we can just go space to line and then we have F. If we're going in alphabetical order. This is awesome. You're starting to read your notes now. You guys are so awesome. You're learning how to read notes on a staff. So there are a couple things you can do moving forward. If you need to replay the video and just get some practice in, because like I said earlier, music is its own language. We're learning something completely new we've never done before. And that just takes time and practice to get used to it. So you can replay this video, or I'm also attaching coloring sheets, so that way you can practice reading your notes on a staff that way. And it's super duper fun. So just to recap what we did on today's episode, we learned what a treble clef and what a bass clef is, we learned how to identify steps and skips, and then we learned how to read notes on the staff. So now, since it's time to say goodbye, we'll sing your goodbye song. Here we go.